uh, morning chair, uh, afternoon chair, I should say. Um, I think we've been going two hours 45 on the questions. Um, we've got a fair bit of business to transact, so I would maybe recommend a, around three hours, another 15 minutes of questions, and it might be a good time to then uh, move on to the, uh, the business of the meeting. Uh, the specific issues I want to raise go to the NBN. Um, Kerry Stokes recently uh, housed or, or hosted the Prime Minister in his private holiday lodge up at uh, Cable Beach in Broome. Mr Stokes is a billionaire, aspiring uh, owner of uh, Foxtel, uh, licensee of the government through uh, Channel 7, uh, clearly in a very regulated place with very privileged access to the Prime Minister uh, accommodating him at his private uh, uh, residence. Uh, I'd like to ask you, Chair, and the CEO, what sort of access you've had to the Prime Minister uh, over this uh, NBN process and also to uh, the bully in chief, uh, Senator Conroy, whether you've had any private meetings, whether you've been able to stay the night at a hotel with them somewhere or, you know, because from what I hear, we're being treated very badly, no access, uh, just bullying away, yet they're going off you know, cozying up with potential beneficiaries of the breakup of Telstra if uh, Foxtel did get uh, forced to, uh, to be sold off. Uh, I'd also like to ask you uh, how many of our people have been recruited to the NBN? Someone was telling me this morning that they've just hired a, a very talented executive, I think it was called Mr Lobb, I think it was, uh, but yeah, and they're, they're hiring quite a few, so can you give us an update on how many they've poached? And uh, finally, uh, can you give us a, tell us a bit more detail about any really sort of the information that most jumped out at you and should be of most interest to shareholders from uh, the, uh, the botch up by the bully in chief in uh, tabling that confidential report in the Senate last week? What was the information there which really jumped out at you and it was of most relevance and insight uh, to you as a board and uh, to us shareholders? Um, thank you, Mr. Mayne. Uh, going to your three uh, questions, first of all, in terms of um, access to uh, government in, and through our negotiations, uh, can I say that uh, we have been very um, actively engaged at a number of levels. We have uh, no issues with gaining access, and uh, that's with uh, NBN Co Department um, and uh, members of the uh, political party so um, we can rest assured that we have the access we need. Um, in terms of NBN Co certainly they're recruiting and people can respond to those advertisements um, if they choose. Um, and finally in terms of the um, tabling of confidential information uh, that was uh, an error by the minister, as an inverted error as we understand it, and that information was um, valuations in a, in a regulatory construct and is, uh, is not immediately relevant to the NBN discussion, so um, there was nothing, uh, nothing to infer uh, or conclude from that information.